This week I tried to conquer my fear of leaving the boat on anchor by climbing up Nafpaktus Castle. We're leaving for Trisonia and are pretty excited about our boat speed and we're anchoring in Trisonia as well. Are we gonna drag? Who knows? You will if you watch until the end. And also watch next week's episode. We hope you enjoy watching this. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. <gasps> my name is Alex and this is Mandy. Recently we moved aboard Blue, our 36-foot Oceanus, and we learned how to sail in the Med. We don't really know where we're gonna end up, but we do know that we want to go through the Corinth Canal. And we're almost there. All those glowing lights are lost In the night I have an irrational fear of leaving the boat on anchor. And now it's particularly bad. We dawdled around in the morning. We wanted to go around 10, 11 maybe. And then we didn't. So around 12, 12.30 12 we get ready. And around 1 the wind kicks in as everyone knows. And I didn't think about it. It's Schrödinger's boat. <laughs> you don't know until you're back. <laughs> it could be there, it could not be there. The roofs. We're at the height of the road. It's a cool city. It always seems worse on the boat than when you're off the boat. <laughs> yeah, well. No, it's also it's on the boat I feel more uncomfortable when there's wind and when I'm off and like it's not that bad, it's just that the boat reacts so much to the waves and stuff. But look. It also looks less bad from here than it does so. on the boat. I think it looks horrible. I'm enjoying this. It's great. Honestly, it's the best life, but <laughs> it's just so can't handle it anymore. Yeah. No, we never dragged, and we always do the right thing. How often did we free free anchor off? Yeah, but how often did we leave the boat? Never, because I can't. I think we're on the top. Can't be further out from the boat than now. How are you feeling? I don't know. I wouldn't say I conquered my fear, but I faced it at least. Faced it. Maybe I feel better when we're back at the boat. We can do a debrief and we'll talk about all the things that happened. Look, kite surfers. Hi. Hey. We left Nafpaktos, we're heading for Trisonia, which is a small island 15 miles from here. We're doing good. There's actually a current in the channel that pushes us a bit, maybe one knot. We reefed the main and we, we actually went seven one knots, which is quite a lot for a 36 footer. Eventually the anchor held, of course it did, because it's an irrational fear. When we were on top of the castle, the anchor alarm actually went off because it's always not really precise so after it settled again and I, I looked at it a bit and I realized it's just it's just stupid. Yes. what? yes 7.3 knots this is our personal record um, 24 7.4 5 Jesus Boom. If you seven and a half knots with 25 knots of wind, fuck. With dinghy. With dinghy. Actually, down. Yeah. Oh, fuck, this is cool. Like a child for the past, sing cuckoo, 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 cuckoo.
good. Going a little bit off course, but therefore we're surfing and going seven and a half knots, so who cares? Yeah. How does it feel? Ah, uh, quite intense. Pretty fucking awesome, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You can feel that that's the limit, right? 75. Yeah. No more than that. You can feel everything vibrating and yeah. really going. It's controllable though. That's good. All good. I really wonder if we would have made 76 without the dinghy, or if it doesn't matter. I'm glad we still have the dinghy. It's surfing like crazy. Most wind we ever had though. Never had 28 more. It's the day of first, right? Yeah. That's Trisonia town and behind you can see the mass of the marina. We're gonna take the little curve around it and then we're in the bay. I think we can even start heading for it. It's really not that shallow here. It's a big bay for about a lot of boats and we will find a space definitely. The bottom is six meters deep. Uh, it's weed and mud. So we have to dig in really good, but we should persist. That's what Rod says in the pilot book. The wind's gonna come from the front then, so you're taking that. I'm taking the middle. Yeah. 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 Anchoring for the third and five. Driving up to a thousand. A thousand. Waiting. Waiting. Chain is stretching out. We're doing two thousand. We're on height of the super yards. Are we dragging? Two point five. We are dragging again. That's it. Oh, Jesus. It's eight. We arrived at 7.15, so that was a long parking maneuver. We thought it was pretty easy to anchor in Trizonia because it's just this big lake. Everything's five to seven meters, but the whole thing is filled with weeds. So we did three or four how many the tries for it was the fourth try that we actually were able to set the winds are dying down it was 20 knots when we came in now it's 10 so now we're fine pretty quiet now you can hear the crickets the sun is setting just in time it was actually the first time that we left after noon to make a passage it was only 15 miles we had seven and a half knots of boat speed. Good day. Unconditional Venus by my side Uncontainable No way you can hide It's something to know No matter where you are The Venus 